Hello, everyone. We want to welcome you to 21 Days of Prayer. This is day two uh, of our focus for prayer uh, here in January of 2021. Uh, this is day two of prayer because yesterday we launched this in our services at Grace uh, about our focus on daily prayer. And of course, our goal here for these 21 days of prayer is we want to help uh, you, help all of us, to develop the daily habit of prayer or, or, or to have a, a lifestyle of prayer. And so our challenge uh, for all of us is to pray every day. And we're asking you to use the Lord's Prayer as a model for prayer uh, during this week. And so if you don't have a copy of that, you can get that at info.graceassembly.org. Or if you have one of these prayer books, it's uh, it's on page three there. Uh, but download the prayer model uh, called the Lord's Prayer Model at info.graceassembly.org. And you can also open your Bible to Matthew chapter 6 and uh, follow along with the Lord's Prayer there as well. I want to remind you that we're uh, having a prayer experience uh, online each weekday during these 21 days at noon. And uh, then on Saturdays, we'll be in person from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the worship center at church. And we sure hope you can join us. And one of the reasons we're doing this digitally is because you, you'll be able to access this uh, anytime you'd like to on all of our video platforms. And so if you'd like to save this for later, uh, pray through it later, pray through it many times. You can do that at any time. So we encourage you to do it. Don't forget that we have a kid's version of our prayer book as well. Uh, you can download that at our website, www.graceassembly.org. Now, uh, the vision for this is, is really, uh, I think, the most powerful thing uh, that all of us can do as we enter this new year is just to develop uh, a, a habit of praying. Uh, that's the vision. Uh, as your pastor, that, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm believing for. What if every man, every woman, every teenager, every child uh, just began the, to develop the habit of prayer? And, and that's what we want to do. You know, the Bible says in Luke chapter 11, verse 1, uh, Jesus was praying in a certain place. And so, uh, so today I'm coming to you from my prayer place. This is the place where I like to pray uh, most often. Uh, it's here in my in my office at my house. And so uh, I like I like to pray here. Uh, and it really, it, it, the the place is of prayer that you choose for your daily prayer time is is important. So it could be a kitchen table. It could be. Uh, you know, a certain chair. It could be a different place. Matter of fact, if you're watching online and have the opportunity to comment, why don't you comment in the comments below where your favorite place of prayer is, where you like to pray? I think uh, I think we're going to find that all of us have a different place, but the key is to have as much as possible a consistent place. And of course, uh, when I come into my office, I like to bring uh, my Bible with me uh, because the Bible is a prayer book. Uh, I bring uh, the prayer book that we have made and pass out to everybody. Again, this is free. You can download the entire prayer book at info.graceassembly.org if you'd like to do that. And so it has the prayer model for the Lord's Prayer we're going to use. Now, <laughs> I also like to bring some coffee with me, especially when I'm praying uh, in the morning. Uh, I think coffee helps us uh, with prayer. Somebody say amen. And then I like to bring my phone because uh, when I pray, uh, I like to play instrumental music in the background. I think it, it just helps me. And so uh, YouTube has several places that you can have like instrumental worship. Uh, Spotify has different playlists. If you look up prayer pr playlist or 21 days of prayer list, uh, to me, I just like to have music in the background when, when I pray. And so uh, I want to encourage you, uh, you know, to pick your place of prayer and, and let's, let's pray. Uh, from Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, the Bible said, Jesus said, In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, so let's break this uh, Lord's Prayer down into seven pieces. So it begins with our Father in heaven. And of course, in this time, let's connect with God uh, relationally. So I'm going to hit my music here, and uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to begin to pray <clears throat> through all of that. Our Father in heaven, dear Heavenly Father, I love you today. We love you. Thank you for being our Father. You're a good Father, and, and, and I worship you. I, I thank you for making me a son of the Most High God. Lord, that you've adopted me into your family. I thank you, Lord, that I can just come into your presence right now through the blood of Jesus Christ because you've made a way uh, for me to have fellowship with God. And, and God, I'm just so grateful for that. I thank you that, that I'm your son. And I pray, God, you just continue to reveal yourself to me as, as my heavenly father in, in all the different aspects of what that means. Uh, I pray that I would experience your love. And I pray, God, that I would be a faithful son, faithful daughter of the Most High God. Thank you for all the privileges and all the rights of being a child of God. What an amazing, amazing gift. Thank you, God, for the privilege of having fellowship with you. In Jesus' name, hallowed be your name. Lord, I worship your name. Uh, you, your name is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe. And God, I worship your name today, and I, I thank you because your name, your name is, uh, your name is shalom. Your name is peace. I thank you that that you are my peace. I thank you, God, that, uh, that your name is Jehovah Jireh. You're, you're my provider. I thank you, God, that you provided for every need that I have, for every need that I don't even know I have yet, God. Uh, you're the provider. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that, uh, that your name is Jehovah Rapha. You're my healer. I thank you for healing me of all my diseases. I thank you for the miracle power of God. Uh, that you do in my life, and I worship you. And I thank you, God, that that you're the good shepherd. Uh, God, you you're a good shepherd. You you lead me beside still waters. Uh, you uh, make me lie down in green pastures, just like the psalmist said. I thank you that you're the good shepherd. You are a good God, and I worship your name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So God, right now, I pray for your will. And first of all, God, I know that it's your will that, that uh, none should perish, but that all should have eternal life. So God, I pray for those in my sphere of influence that don't have a relationship with you. They're lost and they're far from God. God, I pray you draw them to Jesus, my neighbors and my family members that, that, that don't know you. Some of them think they know you. God, they, they think they have a relationship with God, but but their lives demonstrate that they don't. So God, I pray, first of all, that you'd open their eyes to the truth. I pray that you'd reveal Jesus to them. And I pray, God, that, that they would uh, come to you and surrender their hearts and lives to Jesus. I pray, God, that you would give me the courage to witness to them, to share the love of God with them. And God, I pray that uh, let this be the year, 2021, that they come to know Jesus Christ as Lord, and Savior. And God, I'm praying for radical salvation for their lives. I'm praying, Lord, that you would uh, convict them of their sin and convince them uh, that you love them, God, through the power of the cross of Jesus. And God, I, I pray for your will to be done, your kingdom to be established in all the areas of authority in my life. God, I pray for those uh, in spiritual authority over me, God. I pray uh, for church authorities, God. I pray that your will be done. I pray for your will to be done uh, in government authorities, God. I pray uh, that you give wisdom to our governor and, and our mayors, God. I pray for our president. I pray for our nation, God. I pray that your will be done in our nation. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would establish your kingdom. You would establish your will, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will be done in all of the areas of my life, in my family, God. Let your will be done in my 
in my relationships. Let my let my family, God, do your will and follow your will. And, and Lord, I, I pray that you would give us direction about what your will is for the future, God. I pray that you give me direction about the will of God. I pray you give our church uh, wisdom about your will for us. I pray uh, that we would know what your will is, God, so that we could do it and that we could follow you with all of our hearts. And then Jesus said to pray, give us this day our daily bread. And so God, I, I bring my, my prayer list to you. And God, I pray, uh, I pray first of all for my family. God, I pray for each of my family members to uh, just to be blessed. I pray for uh, anointing and wisdom on them. God, I just pray that they would serve you all the days of their life. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you'd work a mighty work in their lives, in their spirit, God. I plead the blood of Jesus on my home. I pray, God, for your grace. I pray for financial provision, financial wisdom, Lord, and, and provision for every need, uh, specifically in our church, God, those that, uh, that need a supernatural door to be opened, a supernatural financial miracle, God, we're believing together that you're going to open doors for uh, for jobs. You're going to open doors for opportunities, Lord. God, I pray for those that need uh, a miracle of healing in their bodies. We're believing, God, for miracles of healing. God, we pray for the power of God to be demonstrated in, in their bodies uh, because your name is Jehovah Rapha. You're the healer. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for Pray for my small group, God. I pray for the small group we're going to be leading here in just a few weeks. I pray that you would just bring that group together sovereignly through the power of your spirit and prepare the way, God, for that. I pray, uh, Lord, for uh, so many other needs that are represented in our church body. God, we just agree together uh, for your power to accomplish those things. In Jesus' name. In Jesus, you said for us to forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And so, God, I want my heart to be right with you, and I want my heart to be right with other people. So first of all, Holy Spirit, I pray according to your word in Psalm 139, verse 23, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. Holy Spirit, I invite you to convict me of, of sin. I invite you to point out areas of my life that aren't pleasing to you. And God, I pray that you forgive me. God, I agree with you that those things are sin. And I pray, God, you'd wash me and cleanse me and purify me. Your word says if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just, and you'll forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God, I thank you for your mercy and I thank you for your kindness. And God, because you've forgiven me, I choose to forgive other people who have wounded me, those who have betrayed me, those who have hurt me. God, I release them to your judgment. I release them to your care. God, I, I pray, Lord God, that uh, you would give me the courage and the strength to forgive. And I choose to forgive them right now. And I pray, Lord God, just like Jesus said, to pray for those who, who hurt us, pray for those who pray for our enemies and love them. So God, I just pray blessings on their lives. I pray blessings on their families. I pray blessings on their children. And I pray, God, that everything that I'm praying for my family, God, I pray that you would bless them 10 times as much. Let the hand of the Lord be upon their lives. Let there be no ill will in my heart. God, let there be no uh, judgment or, or gossip coming out of my mouth. But God, I pray that my mouth will be filled with blessing and not cursing God. In Jesus' name. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, I pray that you would lead me away from temptation. God, any opportunity to sin, I pray that you would give me the zeal and the courage to choose righteousness every single time. God, lead me away from unhealthy relationships and any unedifying conversation, ungodly influences in my life. I pray that you'd reveal those things to me, Lord, so I can shut the door on them and keep them out of my life. God, your word says to be holy because, because I am holy. And so, Lord, I want to be holy. I pray, Lord God, you lead me away from temptation. Help me to have victory over sin and all the things that waste my time and waste my life. God, I pray in Jesus' name, you would lead me away from those things. 
Father, I pray you deliver me from, from the evil one. I pray that you deliver me from satanic attacks and, and uh, any, any thoughts or uh, any uh, undesirable uh, dreams or nightmares, God. I just pray in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus on, on my life. I plead the blood of Jesus on my household. And God, I plead the blood of Jesus on everybody watching this right now that whatever scheme the enemy has working against us, uh, that you would break that and you give us victory over that in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that you would deliver us from the evil one. And we believe that through the power of the cross, Lord God, you've given, given us that victory uh, through Jesus' name. Let us walk in victory, we pray. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. God, I thank you that your kingdom will last forever. I thank you, God, that all rule belongs to you. I thank you that all power belongs to you, that your victory will be complete in every way. And Lord, I pray that my life, I pray that my words, I pray that my attitude, I pray that my relationships, everything about me would bring glory to your name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that, that 2021 will be a year uh, that I reflect the glory of God in my life more than at any time in my life. Holy Spirit, I pray that you'd fill me with the power of God to reflect your glory, to share your glory, uh, to do your will. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And that's it. We've just prayed through the Lord's Prayer. And I just want to encourage you that you can do this anytime. You can pray uh, at any, any time of the day uh, in any place, uh, and, and I encourage you to do so. So thank you again for joining us today uh, as uh, day two of 21 Days of Prayer. I encourage you to join us tomorrow again here at noon uh, as we pray through this every single day. Just please know that uh, Tracy and I love you very much. We're praying for you. We're believing God's best for you. And uh, thank you again for joining us. May God bless you.